Hey YouTube, what's up? Jonathan here from Ultimate Mac Reviews, and today I have a tutorial for you guys on how to customize your finder with shelves, how to make the icons bigger, how to put icons in your finder, and all of that. Now first, wallpaper link will be in the description, as well as the link to download the backgrounds for finder. Also, there is the new Twitter theme on the website right now. The link to that will also be in the description. Plus, every download that you guys download of anything that I put up, and you wait the wait time, the 80 seconds, which is a very long time, and you download it, I get about 10 cents per download. So please go and download it. Helps out the site. All the money goes to the site to make it better. So thank you for supporting me, and thanks for all your help. Plus, I will not be making a video for the next three days because I'm going to be out of town for my birthday. So, don't worry. I'm still going to be making videos and everything. Okay. So, first thing you guys want to do is you're going to go into the sidebar and download the link that you see in the sidebar called Finder Background. Okay. And then it will be something like this. You'll open it up, and all it will have, it won't have these. These are something else. It'll have these, the night shelves, the theater shelves, and it should have this picture as well. Okay? So you're going to be having all of these. And now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go settings, and then you're going to go to, oh, whoops. You're going to unhighlight everything, then you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to show view options. And then show view options, you're going to make it look exactly like this. So you're going to have this picture right there, and you're going to want to make it look like this. And you're going to want to make sure that over, over down here, you're going to put use as default. Because then that's going to make all of your backgrounds the same background as the one that you set it up. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go picture, search the finder background, finder background, okay. I'm going to search finder backgrounds, go into here, pick the one I like. So let's say I like the, hmm, I'm using the metal shelves right now. Say I like the theater shelves, I'm going to select that, cancel out of that, make sure the icon size is that, grid spacing is that. This picture will be in there, so don't worry. And now it looks kind of like a theater with the red kind of velvet and the wooden shelves. Looks really sharp. I personally like the metal shelves the best, so I'm going to change it back to that. I'm going to make sure I unhighlight everything. I'm going to go into show view options, select picture. And then I'm going to go to find our backgrounds. You can actually use any picture as well. You don't have to use these finder back. Metal shelves, select, and then use as default. There we go. Okay, now to drag things into here, all you need to do is click and drag. So in here, actually, I actually have my dog switcher, so I can just drag the dog straight from finder. So let's say I would like to put this picture into there. I'm going to drag it up here, and you should... Oh, wait, not that picture. The... Um, Hmm. Let me find an application. Okay, Sketchbox. So I'm going to drag it up here and try to get it to show up. There we go. Once you see the plus, I can move it around. I can put it. Hmm, where can I put it? I can put it over here, over here, over here, pretty much anywhere. Just drop it over here. And there you go. Now, when you click on it, it opens up for you. So that's how you get applications into there. To delete them, you just double click and then you say remove item and there you go so that's basically how to customize your finder with the finder backgrounds because everybody was asking me about that and this has been Jonathan from ultimate Mac reviews make sure you go and check out the new Twitter background and please download something if you like it. I'm sorry for the wait time but it really does help support the site so thank you guys this has been Jonathan from ultimate Mac reviews and thank you for watching